Hello everyone, it is so good to see everyone back here today. If you're new, welcome. It's dinner time and I'm going to show you how to make a very easy, delicious tavern loose meat sandwich. And when I say delicious, check out these flavors as we go along. The loose meat, I've got two pounds of ground beef in a large skillet. We're just going to put this over medium high heat and start browning this up. So I'm going to break up the ground beef, which is two pounds worth. Just using my handy dandy meat chopper. We're going to brown this up over medium high heat until it's no longer pink. Now while it's browning up, we're going to like add some flavor to this. We're going to start off with a yellow onion that I'm going to dice up, a green bell pepper that we're going to dice. Now I want some color in this sandwich. So I've got some sweet baby peppers that I'm just going to dice up. So with the onion, I'm just going to slice it very thin. And then I'm just going to turn it around sideways. And cut through that. We want to be able to see the onions in our dish. Now while you're chopping your vegetables, just keep breaking up your ground beef. All right, bell pepper. I'll be slicing the whole thing. And then just dice it. Now when I say loose meat, okay, we're not making sloppy joes. Ah, it's tavern style. Kind of like a bar sandwich. And it's not going to be so loose that it falls out of your sandwich. Because we've got some stuff that's going to go in and kind of hold it all together for you. And then wait and see what I'm going to be using as the bread. Now with the sweet peppers, kind of quarter them lengthwise and then just chop them all right these colors look beautiful don't they all right i think that's what we're going to do right there okay the meat is all browned up what i'm going to do is just kind of push it off to the side i like to take some paper towels and just put it down in there let it absorb any of the excess of grease. It's just a fast way to do it so you're not using a lot of dishes. Let's go ahead and add those delicious colors right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is stir this all up. I'm just going to cook this down for a few minutes until the onions are nice and soft and the peppers start softening down also. In the meantime, I'm going to flavor this with some salt and pepper. Oh, I opened the right one this time. <laughs> About a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And the same with the pepper, quarter of a teaspoon. Give that a mix. All right, let's get these onions and peppers nice and softened down. I just do it. Okay, now what we're going to do is add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Flavor, flavor, flavor. This is a half a tablespoon, so I'm going to go in twice. A little overflow. Give that a mix for about 30 seconds. Ooh, doesn't that look colorful in there? All right, let's add some more flavor. I've got two cans of soup here. One is a cream of celery, or you can use cream of mushroom, whichever one you want. And then I have a cheddar cheese soup. Yeah, that's the tavern flavor right there, cheese. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm going to add both of these cans to the meat mixture here, and then also I'm going to give a little sprinkling of some Worcestershire, probably about one to two teaspoons, whatever you like. Now these are 10 ounce cans. I'm going to stir this up. Ooh, that's looking good. It's smelling good. All right, let's give this a taste and we're going to turn off the burner. Mmm. Oh, wow. You know what I'm ready to do? Put some tater tots in the oven to go with this. All right, let's build the sandwich. I have a sheet pan. I've lined it with some parchment paper and I got a nice serrated edge knife. It's a bread knife. Got a big loaf of French bread. So what I'm going to do is slice this lengthwise. All right, just keep an eye on it and go slow. Make sure you divide this equally down the center of the loaf. Okay, now let me show you what we're going to do. We need to take that inside out. Just take a fork and just kind of scrape along the inside of the bread like this. And then you're going to take the pieces of the bread and just kind of break it up. And then you're going to put it into the meat mixture. Now you don't want to put it all in there. I'm just going to put what is ever in the half of the loaf. You can save the other pieces for, so you can dry it out and make breadcrumbs with it and freeze it. Croutons. Make croutons with it, yep. The bread will help absorb the liquid and make it more apt to stay together. And then just... Act like a glue. Yeah. So as much bread that you want in there, just be careful when you do this so you don't break your bread. Because it's like a little boat and it holds everything in it, so just be gentle. All right, we're going to bring the pan back over that we've lined with some parchment paper. We're going to put the bottom on and then place the top on there right there. And what we want to do is add the mixture into the bottom portion of the bread. Kind of load it up. I'm going to sprinkle some shredded cheddar cheese over the top. Okay, you're going to take the top, flip it over, and put it on top. There we go. <laughs> All right, this is going to go in the oven that's preheated at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, just long enough to get that cheese on the inside nice and melted and everything heated through. Now, Y'all are like, okay, what about the rest of it? Well, we have another loaf of bread that we're going to do tomorrow to finish this off here. So that's why I doubled up on the recipe. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. Now, before you grab a knife and start sawing away and making sandwiches out of this, you got to let it rest for five minutes or so. That way, everything kind of pulls itself together. And when you make the cuts, it doesn't all fall out. So, five minutes. There we go. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not two sandwiches. We're gonna cut this in half again. Here goes my bite. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> that's a loose meat sandwich right there. Grab a fork after this one and finish it up on your plate. Put a tortilla down, you'll have a taco. <laughs> oh, there you go, right there. <laughs> All right, comment down below what you think of my tavern loose meat sandwich. It is so delicious. There you go, right here. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I have too many of them out there. Go check them all out. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode.